Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm just so if this is your first time here, hello. So mm, drinking a cinnamon tea, very yummy. It's good for the blood. So we're here today because I wanted to just show you a little hopefully short video of the eyebrows. So I'm gonna give you like a little preview of what you're gonna see today. I personally like very fluffy, organic, not too dark of an eyebrow. Personally, I just think it's more youthful and it's more like suitable for my face because I already have very thick eyebrows but you can make them look fluffy if you don't have too many eyebrow hairs. Hear me out. If you have a very overplugged eyebrow that is very tricky and you have to let them grow out and if they don't grow out there's eyebrow serums out there okay. I've heard people talk about the Grande Lash serum but like the brow serum version of it and they say that it does help with that. So if you guys are struggling with eyebrow growth, maybe that will help you. If you have been feeling your eyebrows very full, like thick and dark, and you want to change, maybe this video will help you to have an idea of how I do it. But if you are offended that I'm telling you that it's not in trend anymore, then this video is not for you, okay? Don't get offended. I'm just not a fan of a very filled in eyebrow, like from, from point A to point B. I just don't think it's youthful. Um, of course, from time to time when I get heavy handed, I will be like, oh, I need to not put so much product, but that's... To each their own, you know, to each their own, you do whatever you want. So I'm going to show you products that I personally use on me. So I use a brow powder, anything that is a little lighter than my hair. So I'll mix these two to make like a good medium brown. This one I really like too, but I have to be careful because it can look a little heavy handed on me. This is Benefit's browsings. I don't believe they make this anymore. Yeah, something like that. Or I'll go in with a brow pencil. So this is from Thrive Cosmetics and it's in the shade Audrey. So it's like for a blonde girl. This is definitely not a dark brown or anything. Again, I don't like to fill in my eyebrows so dark. And this one is the newest pencil to my collection. It's the Kosas Brow Pop. It's in the shade medium brown. And the packaging is so pretty. I love it very much. They do have like a brow gel, tinted brow gel, but I just know that I like my soap, my pear soap. This is honestly like my favorite product and I use it on my clients too. And the infamous Got To Be Glued Styling Gel. This is a tried and true, but there is a learning curve to this product. You have to make sure to do your eyebrows before your face because um, you want to make sure to remove any excess gel that may have gotten on the skin because if you put foundation on top of that, it looks really weird and it starts peeling up. So just a heads up if you're going to try this out. So for the purpose of the video, I don't have any makeup on. I'm just going to do my eyebrows really quickly. And so today I'm going to use the Kosa's Brow Pop. I did trim my eyebrows and I shaved them. Let me show you how I shave them. All right, people. So this is how I trim my eyebrows. I very rarely will trim the actual hair. I will lift it up with a spoolie and then trim whatever is too long. Honestly, I rarely do this because some days I like it when my eyebrows are super long and like it gives it even more of organic, messy look. But I decided to do it yesterday and I like it. Um, I have to be very careful though because then it'll like look too skinny and I don't like skinny eyebrows on my face. Um, and then on top of my eyebrows, I'll use a razor, a facial razor, to just make sure it's spotless on top. This really does help to make your skin smoother too, guys. If you don't shave your face and you're too scared to, try it out. And if you don't like it, then don't do it again. It doesn't make my face hair any thicker. I was telling a lot of people that it may feel thicker, like a stubble, because of course your hair, when it grows out, it's like at a point, right? So it's softer at that in that phase because it's like a point. But if you cut it with a razor, it'll be blunt and so it'll feel a little bit more thick thicker. It's not really thick. It's just the way that it got cut. Enough babbling. I'm going to start with filling it in. I'm not going to put too much product. I'm going to put it towards the end. And honestly, that's all I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna comb that product out.
and this pencil does have like a little point i don't know if you can so it has like a triangle point and i actually like it it's not too bad this is probably like a little bit in between the sizes of anastasia's pencils you know how like they have a very very tiny one and then the other rectangle one so it's like a good in between size and I like the formula of this pencil. It doesn't really come off so easily, but it's not like one of those pencils where it's not one of those pencils where you're like, you know. And after I finished filling them in, I'm gonna show you how I do it with the brow soap. So this is pear soap. You can find it anywhere on Amazon, Dollar Tree, and I just bought like a little tin for it and I'm gonna take a clean spoolie. Every time I use it, you have to make sure your spoolie is not filthy you want to make sure it's a little clean because it will leave residue on the eyebrows if it's like a five week old spoolie that you haven't washed in forever so just rubbing it in there you have to make sure you have to put a little bit of liquid on it to activate it and start pushing it into the eyebrows And there you go, that's how I do my eyebrows. And I'll even like use the back end of the spoolie to make sure they are flat to the face. It makes it last longer, like that fluffy effect. And then after that, I'll just go in with my face makeup and everything else. So I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and I will see you guys in a little bit. All right guys, well, I finished everything on my face. If you are wondering what I have on my face right now, I honestly just have mascara and a little bit of concealer. I didn't even put foundation on today. I put a little TikTok about like what I'm using on the face. It's all Kosas basically. Um, I love Kosas. Anyways, that's besides the point. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know how you do your eyebrows, what products you think I should be using, or something you think I would like, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!